Container A and container B have leaks. Container A has 800 milliliters of water and is leaking 6 milliliters per minute. Container B has 1,000 milliliters and is le leaking 10 milliliters per minute. How many minutes M will it take for the co two containers to have the same amount of water? First, we are going to identify what does it ask. What does it ask for? So it asks for how many minutes using variable M will it take for two containers to have the same amount of water? That means we need to identify what we do know to solve for what we don't know. First, let's look at container number A. Container number A, it has 800 milliliters of water. I will draw a container over here, and it has 800 milliliters of water. Let's say these two are the water, and it is reaching 800 milliliters. Now, for every minute, it is leaking 6 milliliters. Let's say there's a hole. So the water is leaking 6 milliliters per minute. Okay, now that's all for contain container A. We're going to identify container B. Container B has 1,000 milliliters. So, another container with 1,000 milliliters. It is leaking 10 milliliters per minute. So there's a hole that's leaking 10 milliliters per minute. So how many minutes will it take for two containers to have the same amount of water? Again, the question asks for the minute when these two, they, they continuously leaking, will have the same amount of water. Now we're going to solve any, we're going to write and solve an equation. So that will be a much easier process. So let's write and solve an equation. First of all, I am going to write an equation describing 1,000. I'm going to write an equation using the variable m to describe the container A. So for container A, I know that I'm going to represent m for the minutes. So container A has 800 milliliters. That's what we know now, 800 milliliters. So it is leaking 6 milliliters per minute. So I'm going to write 6 times m because we don't know how many minutes will it be to enable for it to, to be equal to, enable for it to be equal to, let me write it in a different color. Oops. And to be equal to the container B. So, the container B, we have 1,000 milliliters, and it is leaking 10 milliliters per minute. And we don't know how many minutes will it take for these two, with the continuously leaking, be the same amount of water. So that's our equation. Basically, 800 minus 6m is for container A. It has 800 milliliter and is leaking 6 milliliters per minute. And we don't know how many minutes will it leak. Enable for it to be equal to container B, which is 1,000 milliliters, subtract 10 milliliters per how many minutes will be equal to container A. So you see this kind of a relationship. Now, we're going to solve this equation. First, I'm going to try to get all the variables on one side of the equation and all the constants on the other side. Let me draw a line. All the variables on one side. Maybe I should put all the variables over here and all the constants over there. So, therefore, to get rid of this part or this term and bring it over here, we need to get, we need to use the inverse operation toward this term, minus 10m, which is to add 10m. However, once I do that to this side, I have to do it to the other side. Add 10m. Now, negative 10m plus 10m is equal to 0. We just have to cancel it out. So, negative 6m plus 10m is equal to 4m. 
to subtract or add these like terms with variables, we just need to add slash subtract the coefficient and bring down the variable. So here we got plus 4m is equal to 1000. We need to bring down the 800 so that we don't left it out. Now we continuously solve this equation. So I am going to subtract 800 since this 800 is a constant. So I wanted to bring it over here. So to do this, I'm going to subtract 800 since 800 minus 800 is 0. So I don't have any constants over here. However, to do this to one side, I need to do it to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 800. Now, 800 minus 800 is 0. Therefore, we just cancel it out. Now, we're left out with 4n is equal to 1000 minus 800 is 200. To solve the rest of the equation, I have to use the inverse operation by dividing both sides of the equation by 4. 4m divided by 4, we just divide out the coefficient since there are no like variables in both the denominator and numerators. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So we left out with 1m is equal to 200 divided by 4 is 50. However, we do not need to write the m because 1m it is same as 1 times n. Therefore, we don't have to write it as 1m. We just leave it as m equal to 50. So, after 50 minutes, therefore, I'm going to write it in a complete sentence. After 50 minutes, the, the two containers would have the same amount of water.